Hey guys, what's up? It's Littlefoo68. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Last time, we watched a bunch of cutscenes and stuff. Woohoo! We were uh, bonked on the head one too many times by Mr. Squall slash Leon here, and ended up in this fabulous hotel room where they told us some stuff about Heartless and, you know, stealing people's hearts and the darkness and, I don't know, I'm the chosen one or something. Something to do with my pointy ass hair. But, um, anywho, let's see. Yep, yep, we already knew that. You told us that. What do you have to say? I've heard that the Keyblade can open all sorts of locks. Even though Leon just told you that, I'm gonna tell it to you again because <laughs> clearly you're stupid and need to be told twice. <laughs> oh, whoops, I just whacked a picture. Um,. You can examine these little tiny pictures on the walls, and it says Bald Mountain, 7 a.m., Midday Jungle, and this one, 1800 hours in the past, time flies. I don't know if any of those have any significance whatsoever. Um, oh, oh, what time is it? Ah, cool. Ginormous bed. Anyway, um, enough digging around. Let's get out of here. It's dangerous out there, don't wander off. Well, shit, dude. I was handling myself just fine until you came out of nowhere and got all creepy. Whooped my butt. Stupidly. Sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You'd best prepare yourself. Prepare myself? To fight for your life. Are you ready? <laughs> sure. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm just a kid, you know, and, uh, a, yeah, sure, I'm totally prepared to fight for my life. Yeah, why not? Yuffie, let's go join Aerith. She should be there by now with the other visitors. Yuffie, go! <laughs> Yuffie! Sora, let's go! Don't bother with the small fry. Find the leader. Let's go. Actually, he probably didn't say it quite like that. He's all dark and broody and commanding right now, so... It's probably all manly and whatnot, but you know what? Screw it. I want to make him sound ridiculous and ugly, then that's fine. And, you know, the first thing he told me to do was not to bother with the small fry, but <laughs> I was really close to leveling up, so... Now that that's done... Um, and you know, that, that little increase in HP probably would have saved me if I had just killed a few more things before fighting him the last time. My bad. Oh well. I can say that all I like, but uh, you know, probably wouldn't have changed too much. I'm actually going to sort of cut away here for a minute, I think. Um, I'm actually gonna head over to the first district, which is actually, if you talk to Leon, the first district is secure. If you run into trouble, come back here. So yeah, the first district is usually safe. Um, now that we know that we can unlock things with our giant key, let's go ahead and examine this, and we get a postcard. It's a random thing to be doing right now in the middle of all this crap, but you know. actually go talk to this lovely mailbox and uh, send the postcard and we get in a cottage. Um, I think... how many did it say? There were ten postcards? There's also one on top of this building. Which I think we can... yeah, we can get this now. Not that it's really that important for us to get it right now. I don't even remember what the item we get for this is. And I'm honestly off the top of my head, I don't even remember what the rest of the postcards are. I'm going to have to figure that out before I get them all. But um, for now, these two are really easy to get. So, postcard, postcard. Okay. And 
we get a Mithril Shard, which is also completely useless to us right now. Yuffie, the first district is all clear, but I don't know about the third district. Yeah, that's kind of a hint there that we're going to have to go check that out. Hey, what's up, Aerith? Ah, so you're the Keyblade Master. Please be careful. Mega Potion. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna pop in the accessory shop real quick, or at least it'll be, well, real quick for, for me anyway, and for you guys, I guess. I'm actually going to cut here for a little bit, and uh, I will be back after I've killed a few things, because I want to get us some money. Money! So uh, I will see you guys in a minute. just ran around and whacked a bunch of cuteness and saved up a good bit of money and actually leveled once too. So we are now ready to shop. Yay. And um, yeah, we have 640 money now, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and actually buy... Oh wait, one... One fire ring is not enough. We're going to get two. So... There we go. Now we're broke. Sort of. We have 140 money now, which is not a whole lot, but it really... The only thing I need it for is to, um... Get accessories and stuff like that right now, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh yeah, and another protect chain dropped while I was, uh, killing those soldier heartless, the new ones. Um... Yeah, apparently that's a rare drop off of them. I had actually forgotten about that. But yeah, so now we have an extra one of those. We'll hang on to that. It'll come in handy later. But right now, we're going to go ahead and just double up on fire rings. So, we are prepared. Whew. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go do something else. Like, you know, actually get on with the game a little bit. I've wasted way too much time. And really, this preparation is kind of overkill, or at least I would have pro uh, previously thought so. Um, but then again, Leon did, you know, kill me, so. Or he knocked me out, I guess, technically. We're gonna run past all these guys, because really, I just spent way too much time fighting them. Actually, I don't think I'm going the right way. Yes, I am. This is the way I want to go, because that way leads to the Dalmatian's house. Okay. You know what? I am gonna fight you. We're actually really close to hitting level 12. Stop that. Really close to hitting level 12, so that would be cool if we could do that. But I don't think it's gonna happen just yet. Let's go ahead and get some of these money orbs. Okay. I think there's one more spawn set down here of enemies. No? No, there isn't? Alright. Well, here we have... Dun, 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 the third district! Let's check this out. No music! That means cutscene. Oh, yep. oh. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! Come That's one way to bump into them. Heck yeah! Let's do this! Now we have party members, check that out. So, uh... Yeah, no real introductions needed here. We're finally together with Donald and Goofy. Yes! And I leveled up, thank goodness. That was quick. Ok, 
Okay, boss time. That's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and run out and pick this crap up real quick. Because, you know, we have Donald and Goofy to do the fighting for us now. We don't need it to do anything. Alright, this I believe this dude's name is Guard Armor. If I'm wrong, please don't hate me. I, you know, I'm not always right. I'll be the first to admit it. Um, and he has detachable body parts which do all kinds of crazy damage and you can attack them in any order that you choose. I honestly don't have a personal preference. I usually just whack away until something breaks and that's kind of what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna wail on him. He's gonna hurt me now. It's probably gonna be bad. Come on, break! Break, break, break. That is not the foot I want to attack. There we go. Once you break off one of his body parts, a bunch of little health orbs are gonna come out. Oh, stompy boot face. Uh, so we're gonna heal up in between fighting body parts. And otherwise, this fight is really very simple. Come here, I would like to fight a hand. Come here. Give me your hands. Let me whack them. I do a lot of pleading with my uh, bosses and enemies in games. I'm sure you've all probably noticed this by now, but it's something I do. I can't help it. I don't even need any more health orbs than that. Did they kill the other arm already? I think we did. The other arm is dead. And now so is he, and Donald just leveled up. Rock on, Donald dude. Obtained Brave Warrior. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Hmm. It's been a little too long since I've really played this game. So, you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course! Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us. Help us find Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? You have to shave your head first. No problem. No shot friends. Okay? Or that. Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> Yep. Sora's got that down. Happy faces. Happy? Yeah. That's one funny face. Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. Awesome. We're the three musketeers now. Or would we be mouseketeers? Maybe? Kind of? No? Not really? Yeah. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a Heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat friends of a king's lackeys. Swamp on the ice, they're all built rats by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough! The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? 
Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. <laughs> <laughs>